So we want to determine the standard and symmetric equations for the line in R2 containing these two points, P, which is the vector, or the point 1, 0, and the point Q, which is 0, 1. So we first begin doing this by finding a vector in the plane that's parallel to this line. The easiest way to do this is to use the, the difference of the two points, considered as vectors. So, sorry. So the difference of these two points is the vector that starts at P and then points in the direction of Q. And that's given by uh, minus 1, comma 1. Perfect. So all we need for the equation of a line, the standard vector equation, is a point on the line and a vector in the direction parallel to the line. So here, well, we can pick P. So we can say that the fancy L, my usual notation for a line, is given by 1 comma 0 plus t uh, minus 1 comma 1, where t is just some real number. So this is our vector equation for the line, our standard equation for the line. So we want to now determine the uh, symmetric equations of this line. So generally, if you're given the two components of the line, say x of t is x naught plus a t, and y of t is given by y naught plus b t, where here this x naught comma or x naught y naught correspond to a point on the line. Here it's going to be one comma zero, and a and b correspond to the slopes in those directions. So here a is going to be minus 1 and b is going to be 1. So then the symmetric equations for this line are given by x minus x naught over a equals y minus y naught over b. So translating that to our problem, we have that that's going to be x minus x minus, oh, oh, blubbering, x minus 1 over minus 1 is equal to y minus 0 over 1. But this is a little cumbersome, so we can simplify this. So that is given by 1 minus x equals y. And that's the symmetric equation, and here is our standard equation. And that's it.